Ladies and gentlemen, the Future Energy Leaders Program was founded by the World Energy Council to help develop the next generation of energy leaders. Here at the Congress, a group of 150 young energy professionals have held the Future Energy Leaders Summit, which featured speeches, presentations, and workshops. During this past week, the young leaders have prepared a declaration which sets out their vision of the priorities and challenges of the future for the energy sector. And now, I would like to invite three representatives of the future energy leaders to come to the stage and present the declaration. Please welcome Pirjo Juntanen and Felipe Mota and Ana Hernandez to the stage. Please. It is clear for all of us, future energy leaders, that the energy industry is changing faster than ever. There are plenty and complex challenges in the energy sector to be solved under the current transition. We understand that the world that is coming better than anyone. We live and breathe the world of fast-paced information, communication, and technology that will definitely impact your business and energy system. This is why we will drive low-carbon solutions. To embrace the new frontiers, you require three key ingredients leadership, flexible business models, and a new look to the human capital and diversity. Solving of the challenges of our time is all about taking leadership. And this is where the biggest opportunities exist. For companies to take leading positions and change the industry. For governments and policymakers to create possibilities for the energy sector and citizens to contribute to the energy landscape. The ability to take leadership will determine the winners and the losers of our future. It is imperative that organizations innovate, otherwise they could wither and die. So let me, all, let me call all the leaders and decision makers in this room to recognize our voice Invite, invite us to your board meetings and embrace a brighter future. Business as usual is not longer an option. We cannot solve the challenges with the current energy system. We, the future energy leaders, do not have all the solutions. But we understand which ones can best guide the whole energy sector toward a low carbon future and energy access for all. Today, and even more in the future, the digital world will affect the supply and demand dynamics in the sector. The new di digital world will change pattern and consumption, optimizing assets in the new ways, develop cross-industry partnerships, and develop new industrial platforms. Nonetheless, it is not all about technology. As energy markets become more complex, policies more fragmented, and consumer behaviors evolve innovation, entrepreneurship, and flexible business models will be required to force existing players to re-examine the way they operate. In the light of the global climate agreement, new policies will need to be put in place. Government and policymakers must react faster. A higher degree of cooperation between policymakers, businesses, and citizens will be needed to enable transparency and rapid technology adoption. We, the millennials, will be almost 50% of the global workforce by 2020. And we will certainly apply new approaches based on our values and our beliefs as customers our generation influence will grow over time. Companies will need to think and rethink their brands, business models, and methods of marketing. As professionals, 
We are ready to shape the energy future. Let me repeat, as professionals, we are ready to embrace and shape the energy future. In these challenging times, the energy sector needs to attract the most skilled and enthusiastic workforce. Examples of the work already been done, such as the Council's Energy Academy, the networks we work on our national young energy professionals are inspirational. Organizations need to develop a strong long-term strategies for talent management. The energy sector is too male-dominated, and there is no chance, no chance of success if we waste our human resources. As stated by the Fell Human Capital Report, inclusion and diversity in gender, age, ethnicity, religion, nationality, and sexual orientation are critical to ensure organizations' ability to innovate and generate high returns. I'm going to repeat. Inclusion and diversity in gender, age, ethnicity, religion, nationality, and sexual orientation are critical to ensure energy organizations' ability to innovate and generate higher returns. Being a forerunner <laughs> might not always be easy. For sure, there is a risk of failure. But taking the leadership requires courage, knowledge, and passion. And these, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we, the future energy leaders, are made of. Thank, thank you, future energy leaders, for that inspiring declaration. Thank you very much. Please give an a, a applause to the future energy leaders. Thank you. Distinguished